they're just really, um, they're not able to get the stuff done they want to get done in their day because they're feeling this stress and they're feeling scattered and so I want to share with you what I shared with them today so when you guys are popping in definitely say hi how's it going in your neck of the woods um, and if you're catching the replay if you want to just drop a two in the comments that's always fun I always love to go back and you know chat with you guys catch up and you know find out what you're thinking okay so let's start off from the very beginning that we as women are amazing multitaskers. We know how to make magic happen, especially at this time of year. So I'm thinking about you guys, like how can we make this easier? How can we simplify? How can we declutter, um, amplify all the great things that are going on within our holiday season and you know how, how to lower down the stresses and, uh, and the struggles? So if we're thinking about this, that we need support, okay? And I know that more so now, um, in almost any other time of the year, women, we need a lot of support. And yet we know that usually mummies get put last. Would you guys not agree? Hey, Shirley, great to see you. Hi, Annette. Hey, Leander. Hi, Brittany. So we as women, we're such nurturers. We're such caregivers. We're, we do so much for other women that sometimes we forget that we need help too. Okay. So we place a lot of um, those burdens accidentally upon us and add to our stresses and add to our feelings of overwhelmed. But we as women have some choices, okay? And we are strategists. Would you guys agree with that? We are amazing at planning things in our mind. We're always thinking and planning and then we're doing, okay? Or we're thinking and planning and then we're evolving that so then we're going to go forward and do it. We are amazing at always thinking forward. We're always thinking about what's next. We're, we're always thinking about the kids or the family or the husband or the job, um, you know, or about even about our businesses, you know, if we are working our businesses um, within this beautiful profession and industry that we have at our fingertips. But, you know, we need to then take into account three things, okay? And this is all around support, like I said, because we are cheerleaders, we are nurturers, we're our caregivers. So I want us to think about right now, and you guys can grab a picture maybe tag a friend share some notes because this is going to be some good stuff and I'm going to share this with my email list um, and wrap it up in a pretty red bow and send it out shortly okay and I'm talking about three tips of support remembering that you know we are such doers and goers within our family um, within our business our communities um, within our jobs so we need some support sometimes but we're not very good at asking for it okay I know for myself it's really hard for me to ask for support um, and I always, because I think I can do it all, right? Would you guys sometimes feel that, yeah, I can, I can do that. You keep on saying yes to stuff that we probably know we shouldn't say yes to, right? So the first support that we need to be thinking about right now, especially because we are those nurturers and caregivers within our family, is that emotional support. And I know this seems really odd, but I really want us to like write this one down, emotional support. We need to continuously fill our well, our inner selves, so we can um, be supportive, find other people that we know that they need us. So we need to make sure that we're filling our well too. So right now is the great time before Christmas, a couple days before Christmas, take some time out, you know, jump on the phone with a friend, you know, maybe go for coffee with your girlfriend that you've been putting off for a month. Take some time out for you because more than likely she's going to need it too. So just remember that whatever you're feeling potentially inside, there's someone else within your team, your friendship circle, um, you know, your, your circle through church or through your community, and definitely within your team, if you're building a network marketing business like I am, then, you know, they need you. So, you know, it, it's a double whammy. You're going to get some and they're going to get some. So find you, we have to know within ourselves who is that family member, who is that friend, who is that person within your upline that can give you that emotional support right now so you can feel full and satisfied and, and feel that focus and feel strong. Regain that, you know, rule your queendom, grab your scepter um, so you can find that inner strength and power within yourself so then you can share that emotional support uh, throughout the days to come, okay? So that is the first one, is focusing on getting some emotional support because you know that you're going to be given out there, right? Isn't that right, sister? Hey, Dana. Hey, Laurel. Great to see you. Hi, Melissa. Wonderful to see you, Leandra. Haven't seen you in ages. You're right. We do put ourselves um, last in line. We're always taking care of everybody else. 
um, you know, and, and women are getting run down. Right now at this time of year, I've got so many friends that are sick on my timeline, it's really, really sad, okay? So the first one is planning that strategic support of your emotions. Keep that emotional support really high, okay? And the next one is details. Okay, now is, is a fantastic time. If you have not done this yet, I know that you're gonna like smile at this, you're gonna grab it, a hold of it, this is so important, is detail support. Okay, this is so important. Right now, because we are up to here, okay, um, you can't see my kitchen table and my counters behind me, but they are like this full of cookie making supplies and I got pies and I've got tarts on the go. Um, you know, my husband's sleeping because he's working shift work and it's like, thank God that typing on the keyboard doesn't wake him up. <laughs> so um, think about the detail support right now. This is so important because right now, if you are feeling uh, scrambling, if you're feeling overwhelmed or stressed because there's a lot of things on your to-do list and you're running out of time, okay? You're running out of woman, you're running out of energy. Um, you know, it's great to be a Gemini, I'm a Gemini, but there's still only so many magic and miracles that we can make happen in our day. So what can you outsource? What are those details that are like being a pain in your butt um, that are going to take up a lot of your time that you really, you know, that they stress you out, okay? And I, I had a girlfriend this morning, she she called me and she was stressing because she loves to bake, but she's not a baker, okay? So, you know, I said, well, why don't you, you know, you got a farmer's market somewhere tomorrow, there's going to be a Christmas market anywhere on almost every town. Go to the market and buy cookies. Go to the market and buy tarts. Or do a cookie exchange um, and, and go to the store and pick some up from the bakery and wrap them up in a bow. I mean, it's being kind of creative, maybe even a little bit of cheating, but you can get it done. So think about the things that you know you have to get done that you don't have the time for, that you don't really enjoy anyway, because um, you know that you've got to put your precious time and energy someplace else. And that could be cleaning the house. You know, that could be, um, you know, help doing all your gift wrapping if you're not a gift wrapper. If you find joy in something, do it. If you don't find joy and it's a time sink and it stresses you out and your anxiety level goes to, you know, heck, and you just want to pull your hair out, cry or scream, outsource it okay it's not too late you know there's pockets of time between Christmas and New Year's um, allow yourself maybe it's someone walking the dog maybe it's you know doing a kids uh, sleepover you know you're gonna take the kids one night and you're gonna take your friends kids the other night so you each can have some pocket of time to do all the little details that mummies do and grandmummies do at this time of year because you know you can delegate those minor chores those those details um, you can even um, like myself I have my virtual assistant <laughs> that uh, that unfortunately quit just a couple days ago so now I'm in the midst of hiring a new virtual assistant um, so I'm I'm double scrambling in some aspects but I'm doing what matters and what counts um, and we're going to talk about prioritizing in a second okay so the last tip for you to think about this is your strategic uh, support because right now coming into Christmas coming into New Year's and I know a lot of women within our network marketing businesses are thinking well no one really wants to buy a whole bunch of stuff right now at Christmas they've done a lot of their Christmas shopping but you know what there's still women out there that have things on their buy list their want list that they necessarily haven't either even received yet or they know they're not going to get okay so that is when we as women are thinking about dropping those pebbles building those relationships building those conversations so when women do come into the new year and they didn't get some of the things that they wanted you are right there for them because you've been a friend you're not trying to sell something that they don't want or need right now but you know that they're going to want it later okay so the strategic support is when we can be reaching up to our upline maybe uh, you can be doing some consultation calls or setting them up so you can be more focused and more fresh for the new year understanding that you know they're going to help keep you accountable it goes both way when you have strategic support they're going to help keep you on track they're going to you know whether it's your mentor or your coach or maybe you've picked up a new course you need some strategic support right now to help keep us um, on track or on guidelines so we know what is most important within our day what is going to give you those biggest bang for your buck uh, within your daily pockets of time and activities that we have because if we think deeply upon it we have to focus 
on getting rid of the stuff that drains our energy and sucks out our time and try to outsource it, whether we're looking for detail support, uh, filling up our emotional well, planning that stra those strategies for your daily method of operation, tweaking, like don't do the same old, same old. The same old, same old is gonna get you the same results you got yesterday. We constantly, as women, have to be evolving um, to move ourselves forward, okay? So the last tips I really wanna leave with you is that sometimes you can mix and match, okay? This is kind of fun. I was sharing with my girlfriend who, who was the really stressed one about building, making the coffees. Uh, or cookies, I said, why don't you go out for coffee with a girlfriend, take her to the market, you can get your emotional support, and you can outsource and buy cookies for your cookie exchange, okay? Okay, or maybe you can do your virtual upline chat so you can plan for your strategic support, drag some of your team members or your customers or clients with you, and they can also get some of those emotional support that you also need. So sometimes you can do one thing and get two results, okay? And that is the extra big bonuses. So. Those are some of my ideas that I wanted to leave with you because I know that right now, like I said, we are amazing multitaskers. We are, you know, we want to rule our queendom with confidence and we want to rule it with a lot of exuberance and class right now, but we also want to have some results. We want to be able to achieve some of our goals that we still have for December. Um, and like, I just, I, I have to give a great big shout out to a teammate of mine. She was just, she was sick for the first two weeks of December and then her uncle passed and she's still ranked within her business just because she's following some of the simple strategies that our team is doing. Um, and I'm just so pleased and proud of her. So Sadaf, a really big shout out to you, sister. Uh, congratulations on, on ranking up even before month end uh, and going through a lot of uh, struggles. So anyway, you guys have a fantastic day. Great to see you, Jennifer. Hi, Teresa. You take care, Melissa. Bye, Renee. So you guys have a fantastic afternoon. As always, drop your comments. I'm gonna flesh this out a little bit. Share my video if to a teammate or a members that you know need some TLC, need some uplifting. Um, that's what I'm here for. That's what I love to do every day, um, is help women get to the sunny side of life within our beautiful industry and amazing profession that we work with. So you guys have a fabulous day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys.